Hiya, it's Sunday and I'm just going to nip up and pay the rent for the allotment. Ours is due at the end of March, so I'm going to go up and pay that today. Um, I was talking to Brian about how it's worked out how much you're paying. For my plot, I pay £100, but mine's just over a plot and a half. Yeah, and it's paid at the back end of March. Um, ours is council run, um, so we pay yearly. Um, so I'm going to nip up and pay that and then I'll bring you back down and we're going to sow some seeds. Plan it's not there. Not there. Plan <laughs> <laughs> it's not there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you said that you get a pay of us. I haven't, because I, I, I was on the way back up. Oh, right. We oh. And I was telling them. Uh -huh. But I, I thought he meant I was like, some stacks. So he's, he's got to put. He's put them out. I was going to say, I've got some more in the house. Whatever I'm not using, I'll just put in front of the greenhouse and just help yourself. Yeah, well, nah, tell you How does it work? How does it work out like what you pay per plus size and how do you work out what the plus sizes are? Well, yours is one and a half. One and a half. I knew mine was one and a half so I think it's a 60 right. for a full. Uh, it's 60 pound for a full one. And then right. 40 quid for a... Aye, but yours is classed as a, it's not, it's classed as a big and a half. Yeah. You know, that's, it's gone uh, by square meters. And uh, is it like, is it rods that they measure them by? Or they used to? Or is it rods or poles that they used to measure them by? Oh, I know, it's the top of the Because I've done mine on Google Earth, but it's huge, it's massive. But I wasn't sure how they did it, because I know some of the older ones do it like per poles, you know, like the fence posts. Aye. Apparently, but again, it's like... I'll have to, like, um, I think one, I'll have a look at them, and Aye. I'll check the other sizes. Aye, because... Three, three sizes are the top of them. Because I knew there was a half or a full, but I knew mine was like a plot and a half. Yeah. Actually, I'll get that in a minute because I want to get some pop. Right. 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 No. So you've got them served, I can have to get this. Sure, sure. Thank you. And you can have some of your um, plant labels as well. Did you have some Sharpies as well last time I was up? Yeah. You can have a Sharpie as well. Little ones or big labels? Oh, the big ones, please. This one? I'll have two, please. Thank you. <laughs> How much are they? <coughs> oh, okay. I'm not sure that I have about 12 pence, I think oh, the ones on these are, yeah, <coughs> thanks there. Yeah. One of them full? Yeah, thanks. No, I'm out at the minute, but I will be getting some next week, I think. 5.30. Lovely, thank you. Thank you very much. I'll see you later, Brian. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. See you later. See you later. Hello, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> would be nice, it? Yeah. Yeah. Just got back from paying my rent and I bought some trays while I was up there, some little half trays and some 
multi cells the little 12 cell tree and i'm just going i'm going to try and grow most things in this this year because i find that when i do it in the half half trees i just sow too many seeds i'm like throwing them in so i'm wasting loads of seed and compost doing it that way because half of it i don't end up putting in the ground anyway so with the beetroot i'm doing the multi sow method so i'll be putting i think it's four four seeds per little module and i'm doing two of these for the the beetroot and i'm doing i think it's six cells for the coal oh, i don't know anyway we'll have a look we'll have a look when we get in there and we'll see how i feel we'll just see how i feel but i'm gonna to have to pre-moisten the compost because i found this year the humux is really dry and the water's just sitting on the top so i'm having to pre-moisten everything and mix everything up first so i'm going to do that first sort the compost out fill the trays and then we'll put the seeds in I think I've got a seed addiction. There he is, celery. Beetroot. We are sowing celery, old holiday beetroot, and turnip and kohlrabi. You don't have to do this, but I'm just going to dip a hole in each of the modules. I'm doing four seeds per module, just because they're old seeds and I don't know if they're going to germinate. Roughly four seeds anyway, there's about ten in that one I think. started covering everything with vermiculite just because it's amazing how hot it can get in this greenhouse and if the dry out if the seeds dry out then you're going to lose the germination on the seed plus it looks nice
Leave a comment if you've got any good kohlrabi recipes because I've never actually tried one before. There you go, celery, beetroot, kohlrabi and Milan purple turnip. God, it's dead sunny. Nice, gorgeous, yeah. No. Bloody hell, man. Come on, focus. My face. Look at this big thing. Shit. It's too bright in that greenhouse. I can't see that. Oh, that's better. Hello. Right, so we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for joining us today and don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.